With it looking like Arsenal will secure a deal for Mikel Marino, it now leads onto discussion of who Arsenal will get next. Now with substantial money still available to them and attacking positions needed, the rumour mill including Victor Gokarez joining Arsenal have propped up yet again. In this video we're going to revisit his links to Arsenal and the pros and cons of the deal getting over the line. So let's get into it. Now Victor Gokarez has been a player we have been talking about for many months. I've done videos five to six months ago with his links to Arsenal and it seemed like that had all died down maybe because of his price and the deal overall but as the window has gone on it certainly has ramped up again for Arsenal to even sign him or another striker. Now, in my opinion, Arsenal don't specifically need a striker, but if there is no wingers that you really like at the moment, as the market is looking kind of weak, then getting a striker in now who can also facilitate and play different positions, especially on the wing or in midfield, could be a brilliant option for them to go out and buy a winger next year or vice versa the other way around. And despite Gokarez playing in the Championship two years ago and the Portuguese League last Last season a lot of people want us to get his signature in just because of the sheer output that this guy has had in the championship he scored 22 goals and got 12 assists in all competitions that year and last season in his first year in the Portuguese league he got 43 goals and 15 assists in all competitions and already this season in the Super Cup final he's got two assists so that output is utterly incredible and he's quite a unique player in many different ways he is very quick as a last man striker he can sit on the last man and usually run past them but he also is incredibly strong at six foot two he has that height difference and has used his physical strength to bully defenders to get the ball in which i think has been a real reason he's got such a good output two leagues where he can really bully the defense now despite all this his standout strength is definitely his ball striking he's got a brilliant finish on him and is obviously very clinical with the amount of goals that he scores he mostly scores on his right foot but isn't useless on his left foot and does come in on it sometimes and score some really good goals and something I think that has been likened to something to be good at Arsenal is the fact he isn't just a striker that is going to sit on the last man he is not afraid to come deeper and pick up the ball in midfield transitions to get his wingers up the pitch but he also does play a bit on that wing position he loves dragging his defender away from the goal into a wing area and actually receives the ball a lot in them advanced wider areas because he loves backing central defenders into the penalty area and engaging in 1v1 he's very good in transition and very good at getting another pitch with his brilliant pace and taking people on and this is shown by the amount of progressive carries he does he does three and a half per game which is in the top one percent of forwards because he goes so deep and is so comfortable with the ball to his feet which makes him a very exciting attacker he also has around two successful take-ons which means he's very good in the top one percent of forwards in europe for going past his defender when he is up against him in a 1v1 situation which can be very important if you can get him in them isolated positions and he is a versatile forward there is many ways that he can be effective not only being someone that can drag the team forward coming deeper with very many progressive runs and taking people on but he's also quite a poacher inside the box he is very good at getting in the right positions just making sure he's in there always on side and always in head of his defender he's very decisive in key moments and his brilliant pace mean that he can arrive late and get into the box when he needs to this intelligent box positioning has Sims score so many goals where the wingers will simply just put a great ball in and he'll always make sure he gets to the end of it usually getting that tapping in there and he's got a brilliant role at running in front of the defenders as well as behind them his strength definitely helps this and in weaker leagues this definitely is more better because of the position it isn't going to be as good and the physicality isn't going to be there which could be a concern later in the premier league when they know about his physical nature a lot more and as you expect with the amount of goals and output that he has some of his stats are incredible he's got 0.74 non-penalty goals per game which is a lot three and a half shots per game which is showing that he is getting his shots away and he's having around four shot creating actions per game so he is doing things that are giving shots for even him or his teammates and now this is where i think that he could be very key for a team like arsenal is because it's not about his goal scoring which i expect to decrease in a better league it's actually his link up play now his overall assist stats are incredible he has around 0.3 assists per game and a non-penalty expected goals and expected here for 0.8 per game which 
which means in every 10 games, eight times out of 10, he is expected to get a goal or assist in that game. And last season, his assist tally was brilliant, 15 in all competitions, nine in the league, and he obviously already got two in the Super Cup this year. And now he gets assists from many ways, but one of the key ways he gets assists is when he actually gets his progressive passes received down the left wing, where he usually brings the defender with him. And instead of always taking them on and getting the defenders to back up, if they push him out to the byline, he is very good at linking up and having midfielders run in the box to score goals. His final pass details are particularly good and he has a really good weight of all which makes him able to get a lot of assists to set up teammates, mostly from squaring or cutting the ball back. Now he's also very good at having the defender behind him which I think is specifically going to be good for Arsenal if obviously they were to get him. I've seen people like Jesus and Havertz come into play from deep and lay the ball off. Something Gokarez is actually quite good at being centrally and having players run off him which is something Arsenal do like doing. Now Gokarez is always good at this being able to set his teammates up and put them through which gives them more chances to get inside the box so it's not all about him and he can provide some good link up play with the rest of the team which i think is vital to this arsenal attack now, while all of this is definitely good, obviously you've got to consider the league he's playing in and he did overperform his XG, obviously expected. His XG and assist per game last season were actually over 1 and expected is about 0.8, which is obviously still very high. But it did come down a little bit in the championship. But he was actually at 0.6 per game, which is still very good and was getting around a 0.5. So he's around about the XG overall other than last year where he overperformed it. And obviously he is a very good finisher, but you expect a proper league like the Premier League going to be a lot harder for him to be able to get them chances especially at a team like Arsenal where teams are going to sit low against them and this could be an issue with him overall he's very good in space and on a transition and although he can do link up play under pressure when you're going to get pressure from two to three defenders that are going to be on you and there's going to be a lot of players back making sure you can't score it's not something he's really had to experience obviously no one was really playing a low block against Coventry or Sporting too much he also isn't brilliant in the air he wins about two aerials per game which considering how many he's losing isn't amazing and considering his height and his stature in a league where he is going to be one of the most dominant strikers in that division he should be winning a lot more headers and scoring a lot from them in the box and when he has chances but he hasn't really shown that level he didn't really at Coventry like to the biggest level you would want him to and obviously that is something that Arsenal consider a lot and I don't think he'd be good as Havertz there in that role so that definitely would detriment a little bit because we want someone who's very good in the air especially winning jewels a lot he's also not completely versatile but I definitely think with his running down the left side and his movement into the wing positions you could definitely see him play in that left wing position or another midfield position because of how good his link up play is there could potentially be a versatile player in that regard and the price is just a lot of money like it's reported around 80 to 90 mil which i don't think arsenal were anywhere near pay maybe if you can put that down later in the market around 50 to 60 mil but it does seem like sport and obviously don't really want to get rid of him and don't really have a need to considering he's on a long deal and although it's not all about experience someone that has only played in the championship and the portuguese league is not going to be a fair enough point to just know he's going to win the league for arsenal sometimes you see his teams work their way up a little bit and i'm not sure if that's going to be the level he needs to go to but he could definitely do it if arteta thinks he's the right man and can work him within the squad i also think if you could go and get out a better winger right now then maybe that could be the option because there's always going to be strikers on the market and i think arsenal would prefer someone like Isaac or sesco and maybe they're not gettable this summer but can be next summer so maybe the best thing is to wait a bit like man city did with harland thank you guys for watching let me know what you think in the comments do you think we should sign him or is someone like aussie men or do you think we should just wait and try and get a winger or burst our forward in now and who do you think we should let me know what you think where arsenal should go in this transfer market thank you guys for watching please subscribe for any more arsenal videos and i'll see you in the next one